My name is Laura Stachel. I'm the executive director of We Care Solar. This is my first time doing a solar suitcase program in Tanzania. Tanzania is really an incredible country. It's quite large. There's a lot of rural health facilities and they have a problem of not having adequate electricity in a lot of the health facilities. Many of them are attached to the grid, but the grid is only available six to 10 hours a day. Other ones don't have any electricity at all. The midwives have really been struggling at night when they don't have electricity. They are forced to use candles, they use cell phones that they end up putting in their mouth to try and direct the beam of light from the cell phone towards the patient. Um, they use kerosene lanterns, and they might use oil wick lanterns. Those kinds of situations really compromise the ability of health providers to do the care that they know how to do. So even if a health worker has the skills to save a life, if she's totally in darkness, she's not going to be able to do the job she needs to do. So where the solar suitcase fits in is that it is an intervention that provides lighting so the healthcare workers can see their patients, diagnose problems, and treat them without delays. It has the fetal Doppler, so it improves the ability to detect problems in the baby. And third, it has phone charging, which really allows the health workers to immediately have connections um, to the referral system when help is needed. So together, the light the fetal monitoring and cell phone charging supports safe motherhood and helps to save maternal and newborn lives. Midwives are telling me that the number of births have increased when villagers know that their health facility now has light. And health workers are telling me that they have greater confidence at night, that they no longer fear going to work, and that they're really reassured to know that there's always light available. Mothers in the village are happy that they're no longer having to bring torches or candles or kerosene light, and we know that the light is a much better light for doing deliveries. In Sangarema, there's a district hospital that is one of the busiest hospitals I've ever seen. It does almost a thousand deliveries every month. Sangarema is the first district in Tanzania to really have what we call saturation, where we're trying to provide solar suitcases to all the health facilities that don't have reliable electricity. But our goal is actually to move district by district and try and cover as many districts as we can in Tanzania. So our next project is going to be in a district called Shinyanga, and we're also talking to other partners about doing solar suitcase programs in other remote areas of Tanzania.